What's up, bettors? Patrick here with Vetted. The story I am going to share with you today could be the greatest story in the history of mankind. It has that potential, and the way it's looking, it's exactly what's going to happen. Now, what am I talking about? You're about to find out. So, apparently, uh, there's an article and a story floating around. Every major news outlet is covering this story. Here's one from the New York Times, and it states, Astronomers detect a possible signature of life on a distant planet. Astronomers have detected a possible signature of life on the distant planet K218b, 120 light years away. The planet's atmosphere contains a molecule commonly produced by living organisms on Earth, suggesting a warm ocean teeming with life. Further studies are needed to confirm the presence of life on K218b. So, stay with me because I have a video from the University of Cambridge to help explain this a lot more. But before we dive into that, I made a quick little two-minute summary to help bring this all together to help explain exactly what's going on. K218b is an exoplanet orbiting the red dwarf star k 2 18, located about 124 light years away in the constellation Leo. Discovered in 2015 by NASA's Kepler telescope, it's a sub Neptune with a radius 2.6 times Earth's and a mass 8.6 times Earth's, orbiting every 33 days in the star's habitable zone, where liquid water could theoretically exist. Its density suggests a hydrogen rich atmosphere enveloping either a rocky core or a Neptune-like gas composition. In 2019, Hubble detected water vapor, a first for a non-gas giant exoplanet in the habitable zone. In 2023, the James Webb Space Telescope confirmed methane and carbon dioxide with the tentative detection of dimethyl sulfide, otherwise known as DMS, a molecule associated with life on Earth. However, the DMS signal is debated, with some suggesting non-biological origins, like comets. K218b may be a Hycian planet, a world with a hydrogen-rich atmosphere and potential liquid ocean. However, its large size and high gravity suggest it could be a gas-rich mini-Neptune with no solid surface, challenging habitability. The absence of ammonia supports the ocean hypothesis but a molten rock surface or supercritical water state is also possible. The DMS detection is at a three sigma significance level, 0.3% chance of being random, but five sigma is needed for confirmation. Some researchers argue the planet's high pressure, high temperature atmosphere, potentially thousands of degrees at the core, makes complex molecules like DNA unstable, reducing life's likelihood. Others note that non-biological processes could explain the observed gases. Skepticism persists due to the planet's differences from Earth and the risk of overhyping tentative data. James Webb Space Telescope's ongoing observations, including its MIRI instrument, aim to clarify the planet's composition and DMS presence. While exciting, claims of life remain speculative without further evidence. Now, I don't know about you, but this sounds like the greatest discovery in the history of mankind. And 0.3% random is all I need to hear. They want to go even further and confirm this, but 0.3% that this is just random? Hello. So let's hear from this scientist who made this discovery. Now, before I play this video, please hit that like button for me, betters. I worked really hard on this video. And of course, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I put out new videos every day about the UFO phenomena and alien life. We found the strongest evidence to date of possible biological activity on an exoplanet. DMS stands for dimethyl sulfide. This is a very important molecule because here on Earth, DMS is produced uniquely by life, uh, microorganisms in the ocean like algae, phytoplankton. Um, and 
Theoretical studies had predicted for the last two decades that molecules like DMS would be very robust biomarkers on exoplanetary systems including planets with hydrogen-rich uh, atmospheres like uh, Haitian waters. K218b is an exoplanet orbiting a red dwarf star about 124 light years away. It has a mass of about 8.6 Earth masses and a radius of about 2.6 Earth radii and it orbits in the habitable zone of its host star, which means if you put an Earth-like planet at its location, we would think of it as habitable. So the technique we used to determine the atmospheric composition of the planet is known as transit spectroscopy. What is happening is that you look at the planet as it transits in front of the host star. So the atmosphere of the planet some of the starlight goes through the atmosphere of the planet before reaching the telescope. And the atmosphere, the molecules in the atmosphere, absorb some of that starlight. So by looking at a differential measurement when the planet is in front of the star or when it isn't, you can extract how much absorption is happening in the planet's atmosphere. So two years ago in 2023, we reported a very tentative inference of DMS uh, on this planet uh, with a different set of observations with a different instrument in the one to five micron range. But the evidence was very tentative. So we looked this time uh, at the planet again in a different wavelength range. And what we are finding is significantly stronger evidence at a three sigma level uh, for the presence of either DMS or DMDS or both. Now, DMDS, like DMS, is also a strong and unique biomarker here on Earth and had also been predicted to be a biomarker on planets uh, with hydrogen-rich atmospheres. And that is what is new, is that there's a possibility of, of one or both of these molecules to be present in the atmosphere at a, a credible um, level of uh, significance. So while this is great uh, and evidence to keep looking, this is not enough to qualify it as a robust scientific discovery. For that, we need to reach the level of Phi Sigma. What does that mean? At Phi Sigma, you're talking about a, um, the chance of a fluke being about a part in a million. Now stay with me because there's more to this video, but again, I wanted to interrupt and just say, I, I mean, you know, they want to really confirm this and I get it. Again, it could be, and I think it is, the greatest discovery in the history of mankind. And at this point right now, it's a 0.3% chance that this is random. And they want to make just absolutely certain. And I actually agree with that. You see, I've been following this story for well over a year. I've made a couple videos about it even. And when this now is coming out the way it is, I'm just blown away, to be honest with you. Because we may be aware of anomalous phenomena on planet Earth, this would be a worldwide accepted discovery that would push us forward. And if you really think about it, this would actually help the UAP movement and the UFO topic, because now all of a sudden, it's possible, right? Not only possible, but completely possible probable and that would change the game for the ufo topic here on planet earth now back to the video so we are pretty confident about our results at the significance that we are finding at this three sigma significance and that's partly because we have done enormous number of robustness checks we have done it with multiple pipelines and within the same data reduction uh, pipeline. We have tried various assumptions on how we can reduce the data and no matter how we did it, the signal always persisted. And to us, that's a great measure of our confidence uh, in, in the detection at this level. But we should remain open-minded and get more observations so we can repeat the signal. That's the hallmark of science, the repeatability and increase in robustness till we get, till we are really, really satisfied. We are not there yet. So the question you may have is, have we found life on another planet? And this answer is simply no, not yet, right? So we have to, as a uh, 
always say we have to be very careful in two directions. The detection we have made is at a level where it is very interesting. It's a landmark result, but it is not good enough to call it robust just yet. This is a big uh, signal we are looking at. This is of very high importance. We need more observations to get it to that five sigma level where we would be much more confident, number one. The second aspect of that is that when we do detect and while we are making these observations, we also have to remind ourselves that while DMS has been predicted to be a robust biomarker, there is always uh, a possibility that we may not have accounted for some physics that we don't know so far or some chemical process that we uh, don't know of. So we want to remain open and do as much theoretical calculate as many theoretical calculations and lab based studies to say if there is any process which can get DMS in such an atmosphere at the levels that we are seeing. This is one of the most profound uh, moments uh, for, for me uh, personally, as well as, as, as an astronomer, uh, because for the first time in the history of our species, we may actually be seeing signs of life elsewhere. On the other hand, this could also uh, be a signal of a new chemical process that is not produced by life. And even that is a monumental breakthrough because however you put it, we are seeing new chemical processes on a planet that could be habitable. And we have shown this in theoretical studies that that was possible. So this is, in my view, a transformational moment, not just for planetary science, not just for astronomy, but for finding our place in the universe as a species. All right, vetters, I hope you enjoyed today's video because I definitely enjoyed making this. And like I said, and I've been saying throughout this video, I do believe we have come to finally a worldwide accepted conclusion that we're not alone in this universe again we can imagine it and use the probability and numbers and this but a confirmation such as this changes the game not just for humanity but the phenomena that exist on this planet that many people encounter on a day-to-day -day basis and have for hundreds maybe thousands of years so i'm all for it again let me know what you think in the comments vetters i'll put links in the description if you want to find out more information until then, we'll see you in the next video. Remember, every day's a gift, y'all. Peace.